welcome back to the final hour of the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. Please check out our website at uh, sincitybounty.com. There's all kind of great pictures, great stories, the pecker page. Um, go check us out at sincitybounty.com. We were during the break, we were talking about um, how to get NDT on the show. And so we're, I'm going to send him an email because I love, love NDT. He's like, he's number one on my list. You know that list that we have of stars that we can do? But it's not to do him. I, I, I could care less whether I do him or not. I just want to spend the day with him. Right? Yeah. Just hang out with NDT. Then he's not on your list. Yes, Maybe he is hand. on my list. Oh, would you do him? Oh, well, yeah, if the opportunity arose, probably. As long as he <laughs> talked science to me during. I have no idea who NDT <laughs> It'd be like, is. Uh, NDT the is The theory Neil. of the boson Higgs particle. Was yeah. <laughs> is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm. Oh, I've heard the name. He's an He's astrophysicist. He's an astrophysicist. That's right. He is the guy who got Pluto demoted as a planet. Oh, wow. And that's the only reason I'm not a bigger fan of him. <laughs> because Pluto deserves to be a planet. So I, I'm thinking maybe we can send him some of our videos to watch to get we him should. to come on. And we can send him the hard candy one where um, Ms. Norma Stitz is doing the booby burger. Because you guys mentioned the booby yeah, burger. The bur booby burger. Um, if that you might go, scare him away. If you go to our, he might like it though. He, he might he ask might. to have Norma he, on he, with us. The reason <laughs> that I love him so much is that he makes science so accessible to the everyday guy, right? He can explain it in a manner. Without talking uh, down to you. Yeah, without talking. And he, he makes it funny. And uh, um, I was, I just, I just watched a video. He was asked the question, what advice do you have for science teachers? And he went through this whole thing about uh, all those teachers that made an impact on your life. And most people, it's two or three. And he had everybody raising hands and da, 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 da. And when he got to the end, he goes, so, so the question was, what is my advice? Be that teacher. <laughs> 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 it was great. Right. So I love him. I love him. I, he'd be like one of those famous people that you want sitting at your dining room table. You mm -hmm. know, of all those famous people that you want to. He'd be one of those guys, too. So whatever he wanted, I would be his for a day just to hang. Either I get to hang out with him or if he wanted me to motorboat his balls, I do that, too. <laughs> I would want to hang out with Frankie Marino for a day. He really? He's so hot. Frankie Marino is a uh, female impersonator here in no, town. No, 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 no. not oh. the difference. Not Frankie, Frankie Marino. Th that's Frank Marino, but Frankie e. Marino, Marino is you know the, the guy headliner at the Stratosphere. You know the Frank guy. Wait, wait, Marino, I have the, his phone number in my phone. Wait, wait, the guy who Frank lives. The, why would you choose a stage name of Frank Marino when there's already a Frankie Marino so that's, that's a name. female impersonator? Frankie Marino is his real name. That's oh. his name. It's his real name. Yeah, he's so, Frankie Marino, not Frank Marino. And it's spelled differently. It's spelled um, Frankie oh, yeah. Marino is actually spelled M O R E. N O, not oh. like the other. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Frankie Marino, you've seen him live. Yes. He's uh, he played at the NBA when we were there. Yes. The gala. So yeah. nice. What? Why on me? I don't know. What are we doing? I don't know. Well, we you talk were talking. Oh, you were I'm talking done. about motorboat and NDT. I'm done. Wendy says if we can't get NDT on, then we should get. Um, Bill Nye. Oh, Bill oh, Nye the Bill science Nye. guy. I know oh, he's totally hot. I, I would totally bang yeah, By the way, totally Callie hot. Guy just said, yes, baby, you can consider this your official NDT pass. <laughs> 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 Thanks, babe. Now we all know. As long as he got to be on a fly on the wall for all the conversation, is. right? Oh, yeah. Because we would, I'm, I'm serious, NDT, if we really got to motorboat his balls or do anything sexual with him, he would have to talk science during it. Well, you he know would what? have to. You he simply would. need to ta send the clip of this segment about us talking about <laughs> motorboating his balls, and that will just so entice him to be on, okay? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about the physics of motorboating his balls. That's what we could do. Uh, well, I can't. I don't know. I hate, You know what? I When I was in school, I took biology one year. And I'm pretty sure that my teacher was fucking the football team. And so I See, didn't have a lot a of, it was a girl. Oh, okay. So I didn't have a lot of respect for the science is in my school. And uh, the very next year I went, I was going to go into chemistry because I barely passed biology and I went to chemistry and I was, I swear to you, I was there for two hours and I went to the teacher or I was there two days and I went to the teacher and says, I can't be in this class. <laughs> I, I just don't have a head I for was this a class. Bio, I was a bio major in college. Were you? Oh, I man. hated science. I hated science in school, but I love it to death. Most of the posts on my Facebook, science. See, I don't like science like technical science. I like tech science like medical science. Me too. Yeah. Oh, see, I like science. Like the anatomy. I'm a that's theoretical cool. physics girl. I like science. That's cool. The things that I've been posted about is the flying car that they almost have. Oh. About the, the jet pack that they, they've got licensing to test it down in Australia, New Zealand right now. 
This big giant jetpack thing that'll go 35 fucking miles an hour. Holy crap. Freaking awesome, right? Damn, you can be uh, a real superhero. I just want to know if it's going to hold somebody 350 to 400 pounds. Oh, well, maybe not. But it's huge, so it might. It might. It might. But what it's if you huge. have a big badunk dunk <laughs> You mean like me? Yeah. They just got to make the, the man about. cage. That, I, that I will be going up and my badunk dunk will still be down. But the aerodynamics would be different, right? I know. You're right. <laughs> well, I don't, you're right. You got to have more thrust. <laughs> yeah, they better put that. They better put that freaking engine right under my ass cheek, okay? So it pushes it up. She's got to put the reactor right between her cheeks. So, so the way that it looks, the way that it looks like right now is, is you know how back in the old days you were standing there, you're holding on, you stood, and then you were holding on to the control levers, yeah. right? Behind you, it looks like angel wings, like huge, giant angel wings. And on either side of you are the rockets that push you up That's because cool. you can't get them too close to you because the burn yeah. will burn you. I, the fuel I see will that burn in you. Men in Black. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. We've <laughs> seen them in science fiction forever. Oh, yeah. They are developing it for real, practical, commercial use. Dude, my commute's going to get so much easier. The 3D printer is fascinating to me right now. Oh yeah, the 3D the printer. The 3D is printer, fabulous. they've printed pizza with it. They've printed human organs with it. Um that kid printed his own fucking arm with it. I mean, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. I'm waiting I'm waiting for it to become the replicator of Star Trek and there's no more starving in the world. Earl Grey tea hot. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what it's going to that's what it's going to be. Computer, I'd like a mango margarita. Right. And my vagina shows up. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a little scary. <sighs> no, but that would be that would awesome. Be, I think they would consider that a malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call the IT guy. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered a mango and I got a pussy. And, <laughs> and if they get if they get the 3D like that, printer that, that, to be that, that, right. to be a replicator, then we're not that far from holodex and fucking transport. Or oh, yeah. teleportation. Right. You know, I Callie Guy and I were just talking about yeah. holodex transporters today. Do you really think you're going to see a replicator in your lifetime? We already have one. It's They've a 3D printer. created no, a it's pizza. It's a 3D printer. That's not a replicator. It's replicating pizza. It replicated pizza. a piece of pizza. Exactly. You can it eat it. Yes. yes. You can eat it. Yes. No fucking way. Real human organs that you could transplant into your body minus all of the chromosomes that are fucked up. Okay. Here's my question again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have That's this replicator and I want to have a pizza. Yes. In some place, you have to have the ingredients for this pizza to make this pizza. Yes. Just like you have to have the body parts to make a body part. Yes. yes. Where does that come from? Right now, you load the printer up with the parts and pieces, the whatever it is that you need to do. Okay. The, the the molecules. So do you take a damaged kidney and it gives you a good kidney? So the three D printers right now, three D printers right now have this kind of plastic. So anything that you make is made of plastic. Okay, it's a plastic like a it's like your printer cartridge, but, but it's filled with this plastic. But they they have <laughs> used human tissue to create organs. Now they have some that make metal things. So they fabricate metal items. And okay. They, so there's. Metal. I understand that, right? right? I understand that. The tissue one that has blood and tissue and the organic components Materials. to make the organ. Like I, I said, like do you put a bad kidney in there and it, it spits you out a good kidney? All this, all this talk, all this well, uh, get me a backup. news, yeah. all this news okay. about stem cell <laughs> research, <laughs> and I think they just made sperm with stem cells the other day. Right. Um. I, I think I just saw that this week. All this stuff will lend itself to this whole 3D printing technology. Wow. If they're able to create a pizza, they, that means they're able to collect all the components. That's what I was wondering. To where create the components it. They're using from. the raw molecular data. They so that's all the molecules, carbon breakdowns right, right. for it. When they get to where they can collect the atoms from the air, because there's already, a, uh, uh, what's in the air, right? O2? Two, two oxygens, right? Two oxygens mm -hmm. right now floating around us. Um, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Right. And, and, nitrogen, and some nitrogen and, 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 yeah, and some methane, other things, yeah. right? I know, I'm a science girl. So once they break it down to the molecular level, they can just start grabbing particles, these out atomic the particles gotcha. out of the air and combining them together. Booyah. Replicator. Earl Grey. Tea hot. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking can't wait. And I expect it to be in my lifetime. It, I'm only 40. Like I, it's like, what? This old thing, this lever, just get a new one. Yeah. Let me just download yeah. it real quick. No, yeah. yeah. Let me download well, a new it, heart. 
it, that's exactly what will happen. Yeah. And eventually what they'll be able to do, because they can already determine what chromosomes in your gene make your heart bad. And they've been able to clone a good heart from bad genes. And if they have the stem cells, they can reprogram the stem cells to create an even better heart. Right. So stem cells are like the that whole waiting list. Are like the tofu of the biological world. You can right? turn it into anything you want. It's like chia seeds. It should not have a flavor till you give it one. Okay. Um, so that's the whole point of the stem cell research. There'll be no more transplant waiting lists. No more six-year-olds dying because they couldn't Aww. find a heart for them. Because all they'll do is take the stem cells from that six-year-old girl, find the chromosome that's wrong that makes her heart bad, fix it, print her a new heart, and she'll have a new heart in days. That's yeah. beautiful. Matter yeah. of days. Between when they figure out what the problem is and when she has her new heart could be a matter of days. Now, the only problem with that is, is it may cause severe overpopulation on the planet. Yeah. Because instead of the natural selection killing off the weaklings, we'll be able to keep them alive. Well, that's it's kind of a brutal we, we way to put it. We stopped that but... whole natural selection <laughs> thing a long time ago when medicine got smart. That's true. And we started saving lives that probably shouldn't have been saved. So right. there's that part of it. So, like so yeah, there. but there'll be no more. Yeah, and there'll be no more world hunger because world we're like, hunger. That's what I'm waiting for. World like, hungry to go out the window. Yeah, that's Chi- right. Chippa chippa jibuubu can go to the to the the village printer and be like, I'm hungry. I want spaghetti. And chippa chibubu in Ethiopia can have spaghetti. Chippa chippa boo I don't fucking know what their names are over there. I'm Bob making some shit up. Bob and Joe. And Joe. Like, how do you spell that? Chippa chippa jibubu. <laughs> it's just a bunch of squiggly lines <laughs> with a couple of dots. <laughs> some llama vomit. <laughs> what? I don't know. Have you ever seen the way some of these people write? It's like squiggle, squiggle, dot, dot, splotch, splotch, llama vomit. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, and she's not even reading them how they write. This is how no. they type it in. Yeah. Onto the computer. <laughs> yeah. So she does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Llama vomit. Right. Like they could at least Google Translate it, please. Right? At least you know I put English only. I regularly post on my Facebook page. If you have squiggles in your la- name or you have no picture, I will not accept your friend request. And my favorite is when they do two strikes where they have squiggles and no picture. And it's like, that's Well, what does it matter when terrorist. they're just going to post a fake name and a fake picture anyway? Because I know a hey, lot of them are. I'm yeah. down with a fake name and a fake There's picture. There's not anybody that that's from Egypt and his name is Bob Smith. Okay? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, She's likely. saying that my chippa chibubu should be Joe. I listen to NPR a lot. And there are a lot of stories where they do that. They do stories in Africa. There was one about um, uh, charities instead of giving away cows or giving away crops. Just give them the fucking money. Just give them the cash. Right. It was a great story on This American Life. And I believe one of the taxi drivers names that lived in this African village was named Bob. Because he couldn't pronounce his name to Americans so that's, they could understand that's it. Exactly the name. What that's the name he gave himself to talk to the Americans. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> because his name was Chippa Chippa Jabubu. <laughs> llama, llama, llama breath. Squiggle, squiggle, dot, dot, llama vomit. Llama vomit. <laughs> we'll be too All right, so our sci- my science rant is done. I am so excited about 3D printing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write to both Bill Nye and NDT. And I'll write to Brian Green. Ooh, yeah. Another physicist. Okay. You know what we should really do? And he would come on in a heartbeat. You know that guy with the wacko hair from Ancient Aliens? Really? He'd come on in a heartbeat. I don't know who who that is. So I don't know his name, but I just know that people make fun of him all the time when they do the like History Channel science things. Okay. <laughs> Get him on. Yeah. I love those guys. We're going to have the entire cast of the History Channel and the Science Channel. <laughs> I want a How It's Made, Fat Girls. <laughs> <laughs> or Josh and Chuck from Stuff You Should Know. I love those guys, Ooh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the Top Gear guys on too. Woo! Oh, Top Gear would be cool. <laughs> we are gonna Do nerd this show the fuck up. It's gonna be <laughs> Geek Lounge Part Two. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'll have to retire. Speaking of the Geek Lounge, I believe they're gonna be on the show next week. They are Munch on the show next week. Coming! Oh, I better like prop we gotta myself remind up. Them. We got Munch and Louise next week, and um, for the second half, we have uh, Heidi and Joe from From Grief to Relief. They do a show about relationships and the psychology of mankind. And and uh, Joe is an award-winning bodybuilder. Boo, yeah. Yummy. And Heidi is a... Uh, she used to be a female bodybuilder. She is a, she is a bodybuilder. I don't think she's been awarded yet, but she has competed. So she is a competition bodybuilder. So. Ooh. Competitive. Yes. I, I just saw this thing on uh, on Facebook right now. 
about um, the Hustler Club, they had the Flight of the Tatas, mm -hmm. and Flight apparently um, a charity event. Yes, to raise uh, money, money for breast cancer, and apparently they're not gonna the. I guess these breast cancer foundations they won't gonna, take it. They yes. won't take it. We know a charity who will. We do know one right here, the mama the mama van. Well, people. he says right here, looks like the manager of the cabaret plans to eliminate the middleman living beyond the breast cancer and give the twenty thousand to Las Vegas Valley locals affected by the disease. So they're nice. just cutting the middleman out. Yeah. We know where we, we know we know where he but can that's take that money. Because when well, we were looking for a charity for a long we time. We ran into the same problem. Same problem because we're very adult. I contacted the American Cancer right? Society. What's the problem with that? Was supposed to send us to somebody locally that ran some um, breast cancer things and until we went and to the Mama Van people and uh -huh. talked to them they were the only ones willing to allow us to give them money. Isn't that fucked up? That's that is because, you know, a friend of mine, she uh, had cancer and she was having such the hardest time getting, you know, the money, money for it, yeah. you know, and and it's like this is what's stopping you because you don't know how to accept other people's lifestyles. Yeah. It's like, right. aren't you missing the big picture here? Exactly. You're trying to raise That's money. That's exactly what we thought, too. Maybe they maybe they have the thought that if they take money from um sex organizations sex clubs or uh stripper clubs or whatever they would have to consider strippers and sex workers as part of their they have to give money too they do have to though if somebody comes to them no matter what their job is and they're in need i think it's a right. private um, charity organization i don't what if i, I think have they breast can cancer and i'm an adult star and yeah. i can't does that mean that i can't well, get any assistance no. you with would go, you would go to this organization the las vegas if, healthcare if centers if it's a privately held uh, charity organization i think they can be discerning if it's state no the state has to help everybody the city the city the government has to help everybody i know who you're talking about but, but I don't think a privately held but she's organization. She's not talking about does. a privately held organization. She's uh, talking about the. It shouldn't be like that, though. No, she's not talking. She's talking. If you're talking about the American Cancer Society, that's a privately held organization. That's not a national. That's not a government. F I mean, it, it well, gets government money, government. but well, if it gets government money, I'm sure the government would want them to take money from any place they can get. Uh, it. The Salvation Army just uh, had a bunch of. Uh, the Salvation Army just went up against. A lot of people were complaining that they weren't. Uh, their employment practices or something like that were incorrect. They were uh -huh. uh, uh, discriminating in their uh -huh. hiring practices. Salvation and Army. I believe so. And I believe they were allowed to do so because they're a privately held Christian organization. They are, they are, um, you know, they're 503 C. They are, are a Christian church. supposed to be no. so open and, you know, no. come as you are. Nope. No, most Christians are not. Most Christians are absolutely. You know what? I would. I don't want to say you know most what? I but... go to church on Sundays, and I would hate to see what these people at my church would, <laughs> if they ever found out about what I do. Right. Because you know, it's my sex life. It's my private sex life. And That's right. It's my lifestyle. And but I'm not gonna sit there and freaking share it with the world. You right. know, like. But if I'm at church and I'm doing my thing and stuff, I mean, like, it's crazy because I'm wondering, like, how many of my church friends really will be my friends after they really knew who I really was. Right. Almost none of them. Probably not. Now, I could be completely wrong about the Salvation Army thing. I just remember that there was, because I'm pagan, and I remember That's... there were some pagans that were working for the organization, and they got fired. They were being discriminated against, and I believe they were, allowed, they were allowed, the Salvation Army was allowed to fire them. They're an actual church. I've been to a yeah. couple of their church meetings I yeah. guess or whatever so if it's a private well, but that, it's just like Catholic charity though. that may not have anything to do with the Salvation Army that may have everything to do with the fact that Nevada is an at will state so it may no. not have been no, no, no. there were actual court cases for the discrimination of non hiring non Christians oh okay yeah, and wow. they they clearly and openly stated that they will not hire anyone who does not believe in Christ the Lord there was a, there was a thing about the health care um, uh, a lot of Christian organizations that offer health care to their employees What's up with all don't those have to. Don't we want to stimulate this economy? They don't have to because their religion doesn't believe in it. They don't have to pay for the Catholics and the birth control. Yeah, that was the Catholics and the birth control. It's more than just the like, Catholics. Well, There's I mean, the Catholics of, so yeah. started the one when that whole when Obamacare came out um, because for people that work like 
schools that work, uh-huh. teachers that work at Catholic schools and the administrators, and do they need to make that part of their health care plan? Here's now, the problem, I, here's the problem with that. If, if the Catholics can decide and the other Christians decide that their health plan is not going to include birth control, then uh, any other religiously held group can decide, well, we're not going to cover cancer treatments because we don't think you should mess with God's plan. And if God's plan is you should have cancer, then you can't get cancer treatments. And that, that's the problem with doing that. The problem with saying you can pick and choose what you will and won't pay for. While it's great and it's freedom of religion and they're allowed to, to do that, I, I don't, I just, they're setting a precedent that I think right. we're going to be very unfortunate to see affecting other things in the future. Yeah. Now, in in my opinion, when it comes to uh, what was our original topic, uh, uh, the cancer society, yeah. if the American Cancer Society doesn't want to take our money, that's their prerogative, mm-hmm. because they're a privately held corporation, they shouldn't have to. If uh, if if uh, they don't want to fund um, strippers uh, helping them with their cancer, they don't have to. They're a privately held corporation. Right. Well, it's not right. Not right. It's no, not right. right. They can do it. It definitely is uh, not It's the right. same with business. If McDonald's doesn't, if McDonald's, if everybody in the world says McDonald's, you need to start selling uh, burgers with less calories, McDonald's can say, we don't, have, we don't to. have to. Well, if any of the girls that you know in the industry and they, they're having some problems, um, I met with these ladies over mm-hmm. there and they said, you send them right to us. Mm-hmm. Yep. We will get them the treatment they want. We'll get them where they need on a sliding scale. And so if you've got that problem, I have the connection. Yeah, nice. we love the yeah. Mama Van people. We do. And Mama that's the uh, Nevada Health Centers, correct? Yeah. Yep. Nevada Health that's Centers cool. here in Nevada. That's awesome. The, the Mama Van travels all over the state. Looks like they're setting the bar high. They yeah. are. That they're, 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 when I talked to her, because she came in and, and gave me all the thing, when I talked to her, she said, we, we think it's great that there's a variety of people who want to help other people. And, and they're not going to turn down money from anybody. They're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth nope. or a gift boob in the tit, whatever. <laughs> right. So in when the bra. In gift the nip. In the bra. Right. They're not going to look a breast boob in the under boob. <laughs> That's good. So that's why you should support those kind of organizations. Don't support the other organi- yeah, organizations. Yeah, you should know who you're supporting. That's right. Because yeah. it's a shame that they're going to exactly. sit there and, you know, pick They're going to say, oh, you have sex. We don't want your money. Right. Whatever. Or you don't believe in God. You can't get hired here. Boy, we got yeah. all kinds of... all This for last half, last half hour has been science and charity <laughs> and boobs and... Who's got ketchup? Um, I'll have a little one. Okay. Um... I worked last night, but yeah. first, let me tell you this. I'll tell you, I got it. Okay. Do you remember a few months ago, I told you about the um, bachelor party I did it, and the ba- the bachelor was black and he got way too into it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh remember? yeah. It was like a wild party. Right, right. So I get a message, a text message, um, sweet cheeks. This is so-and-so. Do you remember doing a party for us at the Venetian a couple of months ago? Um, <laughs> Kenny's getting married this weekend and we were all thinking about what a great time it was having you at the bachelor party and thought we We'd send you a note so you could wish Kenny the best. And so I said back, I wish Kenny and his bride all the best. And thanks you guys for remembering me. So Aww. that was kind of funny that, that he still had so my phone sweet. number. Yeah. But um, last night um, I did a bachelor party at the Alara, which is part of Hilton Vac- Grand Vacation Clubs, whatever. So anyway, I'm getting all ready to go and I'm packing my bag and I look in my little trick bag and I realize <laughs> that my whip is gone. Uh But I've gained some handcuffs. (laughs) (laughs) So... You know, fuzzy it, it, ones or yeah, steel? no, these are the steel ones. Ooh, the real I ones. have the fuzzy ones. Did it come with the keys? Well, it didn't need a key. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But here we that go. brings up another part of my story, though. <laughs> so, um, so I'm like, okay, and this happens because when when my little midget and I do our little Steph and I do our shows together, our shit is just all over, and we right. gotta collect it. So I'm sure she has my whip, and I'm sure these are her handcuffs. Okay. <laughs> So I realized that the handcuffs have a latch. I don't need a key. But I find a key that looks very much like it could be a handcuff key. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I handcuffed the dude. Okay. And then, um, so, so what fun was that? Because what I started doing was like playing with myself. So wherever my hand went, his hand had to go on my body. So, so then, um, 
what I did is there was a balcony and I, and we were on the balcony when some of the action was going on. And I made sure I was out there when we went to take off the key and, Oops, the key fell over the balcony. You pulled a walking <gasps> dead on him? I did. Oh, shit. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my God, I, I've got to be someplace, and we got a party at the bar. And, and he freaked, and freaked out. freaked out. Uh-uh. And, uh, that is so mean. And I, and I couldn't hold him. I just started laughing after a while. I, couldn't, I was serious for a minute. Like, and then I unhooked us. He's like, you bitch. <laughs> Did it tip you good? Yeah. But they had a great time. So now I gotta go find a whole bunch more of these keys that look right, like right, that's right, a right. good idea. You know, because yeah. it was great. That's it was great. Great. That's a good idea. You know, I may even do one like I swallowed the key or something. It's like I what mean, you gonna do now? You have to get one of your magician friends to teach you how to palm it so you can Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it was awesome. it was pretty funny. That's awesome. Yeah. So um yeah, it was a good party. You pulled time. a walking dead on I him. Did. That's hilarious. I did. One time I was on a balcony and there was a huge party. It was men and women. I mean, there had to have been fifty people at this bachelor party. And we were in and out and I'm on the balcony and I go to the end of the balcony and I go Oh, fat chick splattered. I'd have been a CSI episode. Ugh. And they were all laughing. Yeah, you know, like I was going to be a CSI episode. <laughs> bring, a, bring a hacksaw next time and it'd be truly a Walking Dead episode. Oh, yeah, you got to take a hacksaw. The freaking... Take like, his hand off. Take his hand it was off. so it's funny like, though because I was rubbing my ass and I was in all my chubby... Ro- and his hand had to go wherever my hand went. And so Did he have was, a good time? Yeah, it was a fun time. Good, it good. Was fun. It was That's fun. cool. So other than that, uh, first week back to school for everybody... How did it go? How did it go? It went okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't complain. Do you and... do you go and meet teachers first day or? Well, I'm only the grandma. Oh, okay. So, but I have. But you met... take a lot of responsibility on. Yeah, I have met all the children of all my children's, <laughs> all the teachers of all my children. Because when I pick them up, I'm the one they relay the message to about what kind of day the kid mm-hmm. had. So then I report it to the mommies. Yeah. And see what Break happens. the news. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, I don't want, you know, you hate to hear those moms that say, well, I never knew my kid was having any problems, mm-hmm. you know, and it's three months later and the kid's flunking and the mother's did. So if the teacher says something about their day, I make sure the mommies know right. what right. the thing is that I said. That's good. So, yeah. But no, it other works. than that, um, no sex this week because I was busy. I was busy. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But I'll make up for it this week. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you hear That's that, guys? It. I'm done. How about you, Sierra? Uh, I don't have much going on, really, because Callie Guy's not here. Right. I've been waiting for a week for my period to start, and it just started today. It's like That means mine will start tomorrow, because I'm waiting on mine. <laughs> yeah. It's like a week late. So my hormone pills are not working quite the way they should be, which is okay, because I have an appointment with my doctor next month. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stress it out another month. Whatever. So have you been watching any porn or no? You doing anything at all? Just, no, just, yeah, just masturbating. Yeah, it. yeah. Just do you do you think about Cali guy when you masturbate, or do sometimes. you just masturbate? <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm, I'll be honest. Sometimes it's Cali guy. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> when, you, when, when you say sometimes, just masturbate, are you saying like we don't think about with no, yeah n- with nothing? In it, just right. the oh physical, my god, just I the masturbate. feeling. See, I have to think about something. Sometimes, sometimes Me it too. is just to. I have had that happen where I'm just sitting on the couch and I'm all by myself and I'm like god I just really need to get oh, it off god that was great and it takes like five seconds and that's all it does and not even a full gush gushing yeah. story yeah sometimes very rarely that happens sometimes uh but I'm um, usually I am thinking about sometimes sometimes it's you know what I want him to do to me things that we have done in the past <laughs> sometimes it's you know that guy that lives inside your head that is like the guy you know, like the perfect guy. Do you have a perfect guy in your head? Yeah. Yeah. I you don't. do? I and don't. You will never Frankie. meet him in real. You'll never. <laughs> you'll never meet him in real life. He I doesn't think... actually exist. He's all. He's the conglomeration of every best part of every guy you've oh. ever met. Oh, that takes three for me. Three guys. That takes There's three, three guys. guys in my head. No, I'm just three kidding. Guys. It's all fused <laughs> together. So now I have, I have one conglomerate dude who's just like, he'll never exist in reality. So I can't compare men to him because... He's just not real, but he is in my head. Okay. I don't know if that makes me crazy, but I've never, I've never heard of that before. That guy in your head. Yeah, it's that guy in your head. He's the, the one. See, I, I can't, I don't masturbate to a fake person. You masturbate to real people. It has to yeah. be real people. Yeah, I, yeah. Have He's you ever, real ma- in my head. have you ever masturbated to a movie star or a 
you know, got a a I'm not a Star Trek, I, I, not a starstruck kind of person. So I've never like what, you know. You prefer amateur porn? <laughs> I've always thought Antonio Banderas was really hot. Yeah, Have you ever I masturbated am. to him? Oh, yes. Oh, I yes. Know. I would put on one of them rated R movies that he was in. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, I've masturbated to Vin Diesel before. Have you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vin Diesel? He's totally hot, too. You know what? And, and it's mostly. Voice. It's a, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> right there. See that right here. I just want him to call me <laughs> and uh, and just read the phone book to me. <laughs> Starting with Alex. A. Jones. Jones. Amanda. Jones. 1525 oh. Euclid Street. <laughs> Area code 702 552 That's a long area code. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like that bitch just started the A, first letter of the alphabet. A, B, blood type. Like he could just read the dictionary to me. <laughs> I'd be down with that. <laughs> I don't care. You pick up a fucking pamphlet up a on Wikipedia. <laughs> I Hell started yeah. masturbating to stars when I was young. James Bond, Roger <gasps> Moore, young. Yeah. James Bond saved my ass so many times, the and original. I did him because of it. <laughs> Callie guy says you don't need to palm it. You can chubby roll it. Nobody will find it for a week. That's true. <laughs> I could. And Tyson wants to know, uh, sweet cheeks, will Julia be in the film project that you talked about? Ooh, what film project? Well, the I GILF. I would make the GILF video. Now, oh. Julia, Julia and I could uh, co- collaborate on something, huh, girl? Hell yeah. Yeah. We could go hunting. Man hunting. Yeah. Ooh, oh, you you use them be, as a little sex slave. You could be like the cougar trainer. Yeah. The cougar trainer. You could be the cougar yeah, trainer. and I can be your, like... Trainee. Yeah. All right. Let's work this out, girl. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Maybe you just came up with an idea for us. <laughs> It's always to hear good feedback from the it fans because we do this for you. All right, Julia, do you have a catch up that you want to give us? Well, um, what you been doing this week? This week, I met really met up with a real sexy guy over at the Vidara. Nice tattoo. Vidara. Yes, he was a social worker. Is this the blonde hair, full of tattoos guy that you were uh, talking about during the break? Yes, okay, the one with the, like okay. a nine inch dick. <laughs> I was blessed, girl. That was great, and it set me in a really good, happy mood because you know my boyfriend's been working a lot. I mean, sometimes he doesn't come home till 11, 12 o'clock at night, you know, and then he's tired and he wants to go to sleep, and then I'm not getting no action. So you know, I got to supplement something for that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have that relationship where that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there are times where, you know, Sebastian wants me to be exclusive and I have to turn off my phone or I can't, you know, be on Twitter or whatever, you know. He he he'll he'll, he'll have his little special request and I'll give it to him, you know. I mean, you just kind of have to balance it out. That's all a relationship is. It's just kind of like meet in the middle, you know. Because he has his day where it's just like, because sometimes he'll be like in his mood. He's like, oh, yeah, you're a fucking whore. You like sucking that fucking cock and suck that dicky little slut. Like he gets all into it. Like, you know, like all of a sudden, like I, he wants me to be that. a whore. And then sometimes he wants me to be like a really nice housewife. You know, I, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> He's he moody. Has, yeah. Yeah. He has his moments. I mean, I don't it's know. It's whatever flavor He's, he wants that day. Yeah, 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 exactly. And sometimes he wants some new pussy and then he's gone. <laughs> He's bipolar in bed. <laughs> yeah. He has ADD in bed. <laughs> this is the best pussy I've ever Oh shiny <laughs> cool. Totally Totally <laughs> That was fun And then other than that i just been uh, You know hanging out with my mom And then doing some camming And then I've been uh, training some of the girls I have some new webcam babies That are That I've been just barely getting started In the webcam Yeah give business. out that information again About oh, yeah. you and your webcam yeah, training so- so now that I have won my award at BBW Fan Fest for Cam Model of the Year, I have been, you know, taking this opportunity to, you know, take some new girls under my wings that are not familiar with the webcaming business or the adult industry in general. So if there are girls out there that want to sign up and be trained by an award-winning webcam model, then they just have to go to hcmstudios.com and they can fill out their application there. And if you're in the Las Vegas area, I would be happy to bring you into the office and show you, you know, a little one-on-one webcam presentation. Awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so, right. um, 
Yeah, because it's important to have a you know a business that's run by a woman, and right. she knows from your point of view. Because sometimes a lot of guys don't understand that you know it's exhausting, like not only physically exhausting but emotionally exhausting. Because you are uh, are are giving your energy to these people, and they're feeding off of your energy. And at the end of the show, it's like, man, I am tired. My legs feel like licorice. I just need to lay down, and you know, and then you know, if you're working at a studio that's run by a man, they're gonna be like. Come on, let's go. Keep going. You can do it. You can do it. And it's like, you know what? Stop pushing me. It's like, I know my limit. I know my body. And, you know, and, and sometimes it's better to be trained by somebody that knows, you know, that has been in front of the webcam mm -hmm. and that has the experience, not somebody that has, you know, or some, or I mean, I remember one time I did work at a cam studio and there was a woman there that was, you know, taking the applications and stuff. You know, and she was the type like, oh, I would never be a webcam model, you know. So somebody like that would not understand right. the condition that you're putting yourself through or what you have to do to prepare for your show and how to keep yourself motivated, you know, because in, in general, you do have to motivate yourself because sometimes, you know, like one out of five girls, honestly, are dedicated. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'll be signing up a lot of girls in a week and maybe only one webcam model is actually really dedicated and really, really wants. It's, it's a full time job. It's a lot you of work. can't just do webcam but you don't on know the side. If, exactly. And sometimes you don't understand. Like some girls feel bad about it, but the thing is, like they shouldn't feel bad about like because not everybody has the potential to be a cam model. And just like how not everybody has the potential to be a plastic surgeon or the president or you know you have to figure mm -hmm. out what it is your true potential is. Like what works for you? Are you more of a of a strip club girl? Are you more of you know the bachelor parties or you know maybe cami cami is your thing, you know? And you know that's what I'm trying to help other girls discover their true potential. You guys would be surprised at how much work camming is. It is. I used to do it. I did it a long time ago. Um, the problem is, is I was working a job where I was making six figures a year and then camming. So camming was not the priority. Right. You know, but it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. I mean, now if camming can make us six figures a year, let if the fans are listening to this, yeah. then trust me, we will be online a lot more guys. Yeah. So it really depends on how much support you are actually giving to your favorite star. That's so right. if you want to see more of Sweet Cheeks, then you got to you gotta keep us coming back. You got to pay this. It's, it's a given. You got to give us a six figure that salary. Kind of, yeah. That kind of business is a give and take because yes. there, there's so much free porn out there. Yeah. And, you, and you've got to be something special to entice them in, right? Mm -hmm. well, so you, you've got the specialties that you have. Yeah. Um, yours is your enthusiasm yeah. and your passion. Yeah, and develop and a relationship you're just, with some of them you're just too. You're freaking gorgeous, right? <laughs> and, then, and then you've got the whole red hair thing going on. Oh, and yeah. But you can't really compare camming to free porn. Uh, now, well, you well, can well, compare well, it well, to... I'm, I'm talking about business. Any business. Any business whatsoever. No, no, you were talking about camming being a give and take and there being so much Camming porn is out there. a give and take. You're right. They, if, if you want them to pay you and keep you and give you the six figures, then you've got to give them. You were talking about you give it your all when you go on to those shows. I do. I really and, and do. And you're super tired at the end because if you don't, then you just, it, it was like faking it. And people can tell. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so exactly. So you have Like, to. if I'm in a bad mood or something, I'm not going to log on. And, you know, I have to... I always make sure that I'm in my right mind. I am happy. Especially, like, if I am having something going on in my personal life, it's going to affect my show. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm trying to get my sexy on and I'm trying to feel good. So if I'm not really feeling good in my real life, then it's going to affect yeah, me true. to be motivated to go online. Because it's like, you know, uh, I don't want to... Because really, when, I, when I'm online, I'm... I'm really, it's a, it's a, it's a coin toss. Yeah. It's either going to be a good day or it's going to be a bad day, yeah. you know, because sometimes I'll be online. I'm like, where is everybody? How come there's nobody's getting those shows? Like what's going on? And it's like, you know, and I'm moving here and I'm sweating underneath my eyes and my, my lips and my, you know, and it's just, whoa. It's but with any business, it's about drawing the people in. You've got to draw them in. So it's, yeah. it's about taking the pictures to draw them in. It's yeah. about making the posts. Right. And discovering. Uh, I'm live. I'm live. Potential. I'm live right now. Yeah. And maybe get taking a shot of you while you're on camera. Mm -hmm. You have no customers right now take a shot of yourself put it up on twitter or facebook yeah. or whatever and this is what you can see if you can come see me right, right. it's about a give and take you've got to give a little bit and then you can take what yeah what, what can be what what they'll give you absolutely there yeah. are so many 
And this goes for any business, not just just uh, adult business. There are so many people who just sit there and think that people are going to come to their door. Yeah. And give them something. But right. if they don't know that you're there. Right. If they don't yeah. know what you're offering. And just like any other business. The you door looks vacant. They ain't knocking. Too. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's important to develop a, a friendship like in yeah. any business, you know, because I know some of my uh fans i feel like they're my friends mm -hmm. and it's so crazy because sometimes some uh some guys that call me from my ads and stuff they're like well i just want to be your friend i'm like well it's the same thing i'm like call it what you want i mean i'm not the kind of girl that's into labels you're my friend you're my fan my digital boyfriend whatever i mean tomato tomato I'm a lady, you're money, a guy. Just and put the money in PayPal and we're good. Right. It's just like, I'm, I'm a girl, you're a guy, play your role. Yeah. Well, are, aren't some of these guys trying to get around having to pay for... Yeah, all is the that, time they want free stuff. And you know what? I think I think that's probably part of the fun for guys. They probably want to see how much they can get for free. You know, because mm -hmm. in the end, like if, if, if they're deprived of it so much, they're going to, they'll buckle. It's just a waiting game. <laughs> no, that's, that's it's really a waiting true. game. Yeah, it's yeah. like playing chess. You know. Eventually, they're like they're gonna beg you enough for free stuff. Eventually, that they're just gonna say fuck it and pay. They're like fuck it, let's just do it. Come on, I'm tired of waiting. You know, so it kind of. I got it, the nine ninety nine. A minute. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a give and take because you just never know how how the night's going to turn up, you know, and then you have to. And not only that, you deal with cyber bullies, too. Oh, do really? You get cyber bullies? Girl online. Yes. OK. In your wait, wait, room. Wait. In your so, in my room? chat room. So you're in your you're, it's not like you're out wandering the halls of some chat community. You're just in a room by yourself. Yes, I'm in my show. And, and so then fat can, haters come in and and fucking just either. Yes. People just come in and are they, they just, sex haters or fat haters or both? Both. Really? Both. They'll just be like, you know, there'll be people that are like, oh, this is not of God and blah, blah, blah. blah and you, need, you know, like some weird Christian people come on and I'm like, what are you doing on here anyways? Get off. Right, you, know? you shouldn't even be on this site. Like, how do you know about this Satan website? Satan has your name now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look, if you don't you wanna, have to log in, nah. if, if you don't, if you don't like it, don't look at it. Right. right. Yeah. Why would you be there? Right. Well, I'm there. But not to only try that, sometimes yeah. cyber bullies can be other people. It could be other. It could be other models that are jealous because that has happened to me before. <clears throat> Raina May. That you know, <laughs> she called her out. I called her out. Okay. Mark of the because time, it don't fuck with the church's money. <laughs> no, and I'm serious. And that gets kind of ridiculous. It's like you know what? You're a webcam model. Be on your own show. Make your own money. Don't worry about what I'm doing. You know, don't try and get me canceled off of the network. Like, th what's up with that? Because in reality, if you think about it, when it comes to cam modeling, it should not be a competition. No. Yeah. Because we can go on the show together and we can make like twice as much money. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. Or we each have a different style. Yeah. Right. We're all about something different. Right. And you know yeah. what? Sometimes we might have the same fans, but sometimes there's people that are like, you know what? I only like sweet cheeks only. You know? Right. We have our all, we all have our own individual following and, and it really should not be a competition. And maybe you've got fans or maybe not fans. you got first timers. They ask you to do something you're not willing to do, but you know this other girl does. You can refer them. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you know, so and so does this, you know. I'm not gonna poop on camera for you, but I know somebody who will. <laughs> so let me I just got a girl. Let me just give you a link. <laughs> let me just give you a link. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pep, True. Because you know what? I can't. Poop. I can't do no, you know, baseball in my ass kind of show. I'll be like, well, right, you know, who's right. really good at that? <laughs> 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 you know, I was like, I really don't know how to fist. But I know a girl that has amazing talent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put your own fist in your own vagina. I, I'm. That's talent. I can't do that. Right. I can't put a. I can't. I don't even know how I had a baby because three fingers is almost too much for me. It was a miracle. It was a gaggle and thing. an epidural, probably right. <laughs> ah! And an episiotomy. Ah! An episiotomy. And it's like a rubber band. Ouch! It's like a rubber band. Snaps back in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like and I do a lot of Kegels. Yeah, but all everybody has their own Kegels. individual right talents now. Do you and do their a own lot niche. Of Kegels? Yes. Me too. I, I do. do Even during Kegels. sex. It's good to do uh, Kegels during sex too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like, oh milking that. Milk that dick. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> fucking <laughs> love our show. I, I know. Just say. I know. It's the greatest. Mm, milk that dick. <laughs> You're going to hear that on. Home, You're not going to hear that on another the show. You won't hear that on any other show. <laughs> there is a new show starting here. Um, uh, Cock Talk. 
Cock talk. Cock talk. It'll be Saturday nights after the chill zone. Really? Saturday nights at 10. That's Wait, are the hot. Hosts, are the hosts male or female? They female. are female. Ooh, so love it. The, the host, this, this is, these are the names of the hosts. I love it. It's Hollywood Ooh. and Amanda Blow. Amanda uh, Blow. So, oh, I get it. <laughs> so when they, my boss tells me, I gotta go, <laughs> she goes, I gotta go see Amanda Blow. And I'm like, in the middle of work? And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> no, Amanda Blow. And I'm like, is that a real name? And she goes, she's a hooker. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. They're from the ranch, right? One of uh, the ranches. One of the ranches. That's the so ranch. cool. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. But yeah, she said, I'm gonna go see Amanda Blow. I'm like, uh, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, boss. You can't do I that. I love the Bunny Ranch. I've been wanting to work. It's my you know dream what? to I've work there. Women. I've called them about working there. <sighs> me too. And they yeah. don't want me. No, that's you would not think- true. I called and talked to the owner. Really? And he told me that they will take any women's size because you go there and... I put in my application and I sent in my photos and... I didn't get a response back. No, I'm Girl, not. you got to hook it up, no, girl. No, this was a couple years ago. I did it. And because I had read an article in a magazine here in Vegas about an attorney that goes down there and she spends a couple of months and she makes a bunch of money and then comes back and does her attorney stuff. It's like That's she wonderful. does it once a year. She's Wonder stays Woman. for two year, two months and does what she does. And so the guy that I talked to told me. You can make six cool. figures doing well, that and just he, for and a couple he, And of they months. told me that. Um, I need to do that. Um, that they take anybody that, you know, the, you would just be part of all the Maybe girls. Maybe need to reapply and again. And you see if a man, you know, is interested. Well, and check the, bu- there's the Bunny Ranch. And there's a couple other And Sherry's and the Mustang. Yes. Yeah. But I remember have... calling the Bunny Ranch. And they told me that they would take any size girl, any type of girl, because everything's different. And, you know, you just make your own I money. Know. And yes. then they're cut. Oh, it, a I lot know. of guys. I wonder if like you need a girls. license or something. Or a business, you do your business license. No, uh, I think you can work under them uh-huh, under, under their, their license. license, but you do have to go get tested. Oh. You have to get your health card. I get tested card. every month. Let's do it. Southern Nevada Health District. Hey. You have to get your health card. You do have to get special licensing to be a prostitute in Night County. That's cool. But uh, yeah, other than that, I don't think you have to get a business license. Yeah, just I've a... just been trying to get my foot in the door for a long time. Ever since I was 18, actually, I started submitting my first application when I was 18, and I just ne- have not ever had. Well, the like luck. I said, I don't know who. I must have been lucky to get. They probably get thousands of emails. To get I probably just got lost in the riffraft. Phone they that don't. day, I would call direct like I did. I would call. send it in the mail. I bet you I they would, don't get it in I'd the go mail on the that door often. I would show up exactly. I should just yeah. go knock on the Let's door. Go. Road trip. In, <gasps> in that <gasps> road trip. Like, yeah. How do you, here we go. Yeah, I would. Oh, and I mean that in both on. ways. <laughs> yeah, I would love to go down that go there, but um, yeah, it was based on an article I read, and I'm like, hmm, let me check this out. Maybe I could do this for a few months. That's cool. Heck yeah, because, I mean, who wants to get in trouble? Yeah, Sweet Cheeks is going to go on hiatus to be a hooker. Maybe. Hey. Better find a new nanny, from nanny to hooker. <laughs> <laughs> and That's back again. TV Wait, show. no, no, from pastor's wife to nanny. Wait, pastor's wife, stripper, nanny, hooker. That <laughs> seems like a logical step. <laughs> Heck yeah, absolutely. On all those places. It's all, all right. healing. Let me it's give you healing. one last thing from this article. So this article, I just reposted it on our Curvaceous page. Okay. It's 21 things that you need to realize about dating. It's it's a pretty good list. It's pretty common sense. Most people will read it, forget about it, and then come back and read it and go, oh, yeah, that's so true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, here's the last one I'm going to give. It's number 11. Sex with another person always means something whether you're dating casually non-exclusively mm. or are married you are inside someone how is that not a big deal <laughs> it is a big deal yes special. it, it is a big deal but it doesn't have to be anything special read the first se- what was the first line on that sex with another person always means something, it, means something. it doesn't say special it just it mean it means something it means i had sex with somebody it means that i am giving my everything to this person i am i am putting myself in a position where there is a possibility that if somebody has something, you know what I mean? Like you, you're, you're, you're put, you're being, you make yourself yeah. susceptible to that. You're vulnerable. You're a hundred percent vulnerable. vulnerable. At that moment. And you know what? And, and there needs to always be, you know, on both ends, a respect level, you know, as far as, um, safe sex. I goes. disagree that it means something. 
It means that you're having a damn good time. Okay, yeah, so you, you, having you, sex. you probably don't want me to read this last part. No, read what it. What does it say? Um, even if the two of you are open, sex is an, in, an inherently meaningful act. Treating it like it's nothing mm-hmm. is just an indication of how you're treating your partner like it's nothing. No matter your status, it's companionship. be honest and respectful of the other person's feelings. Yeah. It is I'm always honest and respectful and it's mutual. So, We're just going so to have to have fun. So you don't treat it like it's nothing. It does have meaning. No, here's the more. I don't treat it like it's anything. There's a difference in, I, I, you know, you say you treat it like it's nothing. No, I just don't but treat it, it but, like it's special. But it is something. It's, but it's not. It's sex. It's, it's playtime, right? Mm-hmm. If you're doing it with a partner that is a play partner that you, it, your, your fuck buddy, as like it were. I feel like it's therapy. It's it's played so it does mean something it means therapy to me that's right? what it means to me it's it, like it, i mean it doesn't mean and nurturing right. in some way it, uh, it doesn't have to mean that like they're, they're the gonna, one and the, the one my or prince whatever charming you know not that but there still has to be some respect there you cannot yeah. disrespect somebody and then have them put their dick in your vagina right oh, that's respect yeah well that's yeah. well that's not true because we've known people who would disrespect <laughs> men and they would still put it in their vagina <laughs> so oh hello if he would want to put it in their vagina anymore, of course. Guys are dumb, and they will still put it in a vagina, even if that <laughs> vagina is disrespecting them. That's true. Guys That's will... very true. Th- this is no fucking joke. They'll even lick your boot. No fucking lie. <laughs> guys will fuck anything. Some guys. Well. Just about. Some guys will fuck anything. I, I, have, <laughs> I have met so many men... That it is almost 100% who were in relationships with women who were terrible to them and they stayed in the relationship. Yeah, I've seen that too. And I've yeah. been like, why are you why? there? And they're why like, are you still there? And they're like, and their answer, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I have two. What is with that? At least I get laid every six months. Whatever. That's the <laughs> dumbest idea to be in a relationship. You can go out and get laid any fucking time healthy. you want. Sometimes you've got to lower your standards, but you can get laid any fucking time you want. <laughs> right. Or just, you know, pull 20 bucks out of your pocket. Get a blowjob from yeah. Juanita Chiquita Benita. Uh, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> what was the names tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Chippa, chippa, the girls with the twenty dollars blowjobs. <laughs> I liked them. Llama vomit. Llama vomit. And who's giving a blowjob for twenty bucks? Squiggle, squiggle, that's uh, right. Llama My lap anybody dances on, are twenty dollars. Anybody so. on Boulder Highway? Hell that's yeah. true. You just gotta worry. You might get lip herp on your on your. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get what you and, pay for. You get what you pay for. And I believe anybody walking the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> if they're walking the Las Vegas Strip, go down to Spring Mountain. If you, want, if you want some cla- class, at least go to the bar or the casino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> L- at least wait till the girl asks you if you want to have a good time. But there's always a possibility that she might rob you. Or be, <laughs> or be a cop. Or be a cop. That is so true. Or be a cop. She could be vice. Yeah. Hey, honey, you want a just, $20 blowjob? Just to reiterate <laughs> such about... such an easy catch. Just to reiterate about our fabulous town... Prostitution is illegal in, within city limits of Las Vegas. And uh, the county of Clark. Clark yeah. County. Yeah. Yeah. You do have to go out to a How did those company. billboards get away with it then? They, if you if you look at the billboards. Direct to your room. That's what it no, says. No, there's not a bull- billboard that's yes, there. Yes, there is. Right they're there behind escorts. the Mel- Motel 6, there's it's, a billboard. It's an escort. It's not they're a, yeah, it's yeah, not a prostitution escort. Yeah. Or a dance All right. We got to gotta be out of here. We got to be out of here. This is Alexia. Sweet Cheeks. And Sierra wishing you all a good night. And remember... Talk often. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Julia. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. The Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City Radio Show is brought to you by VegasAllNetRadio.com, the final frontier of free speech. Get your own damn show by BBW Fan Fest 2013, July 26th, 27th, and 28th in fabulous Las Vegas. Visit BBWFanFest.com by Curve Media. Look good in your photographs. And by BBWGirlTweet.com. Follow all your favorite BBW porn stars on Twitter.